YouTube. So, yeah, my life's been kind of chaotic lately. It was first chaotic because I was spending time, like, all my free time with my friends, and I was literally scheduling out my entire life. I'm still working on scheduling it all up. And little, like, graphs and, like, writing things in, like, insane. And it's just like, ah! It's like moving everything around and trying to get it all together so I can actually see people and do things and manage my life. And then everything just went, because guess what? My car broke down at 2.30 a.m. in a Taco Bell parking, er, in a Taco Bell drive through Not even the parking lot, the drive through Like, we were going through it and it went, it was making this watery, rattly sound. And we couldn't tell if it was our car or the car in front of us. So, my friend's like, well, shut, up the, shut it off and see if it's ours or theirs. And we're like, okay. Shut it off. Sound stopped. And we're like, crap. So, we tried turning it back on. And it goes, <laughs> and it wouldn't catch. And so, we couldn't get the car started. We're sitting there. We're like, crap, crap, crap. Luckily, he knew the people that were working there and all that stuff. So, they <laughs> helped push my car out of the drive-thru. Um, and we thought maybe it was the battery. We didn't know. We just took a wild guess and we tried using their car and using jumper cables and jumping the car. Well, that didn't seem to be working. So then they thought it was the starter, so we took out the car jack and we pumped up the car jack. And then they were like hitting at the starter and then it was starting to make like a like it was almost going to start and then not. And it almost going to start and then not. So at 3 a.m. in the morning, I call AAA. Yay, AAA. So I call AAA. And I got a tow truck to come and tow my car and shop and all that stuff. And he didn't get there till a little before 4, and then he tries jumping my car. So I sat through a half hour of him trying to jump my car and telling me that it sounds like it could either be the battery or the starter. That's what we were guessing. And then he also tried, like, hand-cranking my motor. I don't know how these things work. I don't know cars. So he tried hand-cranking my motor, and it wouldn't. that didn't work either. Like, it wouldn't turn. I'm like, ah! It's ridiculous. I don't understand it. It's just... But then, of course, I had to get a ride home. And thank goodness I got a ride home from my boyfriend at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> so I got home at 5 a.m., and that night I was planning on getting home at 2. The wonderful things. And yes, I know I was in the Taco Bell parking lot at 2.30 in the morning and I was planning on being home at 2. That's because we were playing a card game. We were playing BS. And I won. And they wanted to finish up the game and see who placed where. I finished BS in 15 minutes because I can lie my ass off. <laughs> and then they didn't do well. It got to the point where they all knew what was in everyone's hand and who had what in their hands, so it became insanely long because they knew exactly who was lying and who was telling the truth. And so it would just go do 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 BS da 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 do 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 BS da da da. It was very annoying because I had gotten out at like 1.15 in the morning, and I was like, yay, I'm done. At about 2.15 in the morning, my boyfriend's just like, you know what? I quit. I'm like, thank you. And then one of my friends across the table is just like, me too, and grabbed everyone's cards and shuffled them up in the middle, because she, she was not liking. Seriously, in the game of BS, you know, you're supposed to lie. There are seriously people going, I, I'm just going to pass, takes the cards, or there's no cards on the table. I pass. You don't pass, you lie. Lie. Lie, God damn it! lie. God damn it. But, yeah. I don't know. It was very... <sighs> at stuff. I was just like, why do people not lie? Because if they would have lied, they may have not have known what was in everyone's hand. And I don't know, but my car broke down, so now I have I have to like share a car with or share the cars with my parents, and that's not going so great because they have to work and I have places to be. 
And so it's like, okay, well, I'm supposed to be here at this time. Whose car can I make or can be made available for me? And they're like, why are you making it revolve around you? Because I need to be places. I know you have to work, but I have to be places. Like, be at school for certain things or actually have a semi-small social life. Last night, my friend hit on a guy, and she gave him her number in, like, the coolest way. Because I was like, you have to give him your number. You guys have been flirting for, like, 15, 20 minutes now. Because he was a guy working at a store, and they had been flirting for, like, 15, 20 minutes. And so I'm like, okay, this is what you have to do. Give him your number with your cash. And she's like, all I have is my credit card. I'm like, fine, I'll pay for your thing. It will be my birthday, or it will be my gift to you for your birthday since I didn't get you anything. She's like, okay. And so I thought she should write her number on a piece of paper and slide it in between the bills, but no. She thought she should write it on the dollar bill. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, goodness. This could become an interesting situation for the people after him who gets that dollar bill. Because she wrote her number on a $20 bill. And <laughs> she was worried that he didn't see it. And, well, about 20 minutes after we left, 15, 20 minutes after we left the store, he texted her and we both screamed and jumped up and down like, ah! And then we found out he was almost 19, and that's more like my age and not her age. <laughs> and so she's still trying to figure out how that one's going to work out. But they worked so, they were so adorable, and I'm like, oh, why did he have to be 19? Why couldn't he have been 17? Well, I guess technically he's 18 turning 19, but still. Lame. But, yeah. <gasps> oh! I w when I went shopping yesterday, look at I got adorable new shorts. Tee! I'm happy. I have a pair of shorts now. Because I don't own shorts. Like, I just don't. I own a lot of pairs of pants. I'm not really a summer person. I'm more of a fall person, so I own a lot of fall clothes. But now I have shorts and I'm all happy because I'm like, yay, shorts. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really dorky and hyper. And I have to finish cleaning up my room so then I can go get the car from my parents so I can go see my boyfriend before school starts. Yay! I'm so happy, though. I don't have school on Fridays. <laughs> Gotta love college and arranging your schedule the way you want. Anyway, <laughs> I should go. I'm talking a lot. But, yeah. Bye, you guys. Love you. Sorry I haven't been saying or making videos or talking as much. I've been insanely busy. But, I'll talk to you guys, I swear.